A declassified memo from President Kennedy demands that the CIA share its UFO intelligence with NASA. This letter is dated 10 days before the assassination. Is there a connection? Could the explosive letter help solve one of the most shocking murders in history? I mean, this document is absolutely sensational. Were Kennedy's probes with the CIA about UFOs cause for alarm or even possibly assassination? November 22nd, 1963, 12.30 p.m. Shots ring out across Dealey Plaza in Dallas, ending the life of President John Fitzgerald Kennedy and sending a nation into mourning. The JFK assassination is one of the most controversial and polarizing cases in American history. It's a decades-old question. Who killed JFK and why? The President of the United States is dead. Over the last 50 years, there have been numerous theories about Kennedy's death. David Marwell, headed a review of classified records relating to the assassination. After the assassination, there were a number of official inquiries that were charged with determining exactly what happened to the president. In 1964, the Warren Commission, the official government investigation into Kennedy's assassination, concluded that Lee Harvey Oswald was responsible for the president's death. But many believe there are numerous inconsistencies with the lone gunman theory. It was a crime that was witnessed by hundreds of people, and it's only natural that their observations would differ. Many people believe that JFK had made powerful enemies, even the CIA, and that they were responsible for his assassination. Conspiracy theories linking the CIA to Kennedy's death are well documented. But in 2010, a sensational declassified government memo emerged that some thought provided new possible motives for the agency's involvement in the assassination. A document written by JFK himself. 10 days before JFK was assassinated, he had drafted a letter to the CIA requesting all UFO documents to be released to him. In the letter, the president also orders the agency to share their secret UFO files with NASA. It says to the CIA, you will share this information about these unknowns, which means UFOs. You share this so that NASA's mission directors will be assisted in undertaking their defensive responsibilities. The date of the letter is intriguing. You've got to wonder if there's a correlation in this short time period between the letter being sent and the assassination. Following the Roswell incident, where an extraterrestrial craft allegedly crashed in New Mexico, the CIA set up a covert group to monitor UFO activity in the US and abroad. Over the following years, it documented and cataloged thousands of sightings. All of a sudden, they're being requested to give over all those documents to President Kennedy. I mean, this document is absolutely sensational because when you start talking about sharing information with other agencies, that's the one thing the CIA never liked to do. Now we have to ask the questions. Were Kennedy's probes with the CIA about UFOs cause for alarm or even possibly assassination? This suggestion is unconvincing. But to the CIA, Kennedy's letter may also contain a second, greater threat. This document also goes on to talk about a program of cooperation with the Soviet Union in space. It essentially instructs the CIA to initiate a data sharing program with the Soviet Union. The request follows a speech Kennedy gave at the UN, where he even suggests that he will collaborate with the Russians on the biggest prize in space, a manned mission to the moon. In the field of space, there is room for new cooperation. 
Kennedy was actually interested in starting up a joint program between the Soviets and the U.S. to combine our efforts to try and get to the lunar surface. I include among these possibilities a joint expedition to the moon. Some authors and historians suggest that the CIA was infuriated by Kennedy's repeated attempts to cooperate with America's Cold War enemy. This is a period of extreme tension between the superpowers. The theory was that he was uh, killed by the CIA, who feared that he was going soft on the Soviet threat. The revelations in the 2010 JFK memo spark a media frenzy. They appear to provide crucial new evidence for the most controversial murder investigation of the 20th century. Is the letter emotive? Is this a smoking gun? Since the letter was discovered, some have claimed it is a fake. Image analyst Mark D'Antonio assesses its authenticity. Usually we might expect to see top secret down at the bottom and a big stenciled outline or a stamp. The director's name and the top heading are not in the same place as in his other letters. There are discrepancies. That's true, but that doesn't mean it's a fake. David Marwell questions why only one copy of the letter has been provided for investigators. Neat document, looks like a copy. It looks like a carbon copy. So it begs the question where the original is and also why the top has been redacted. Documents do not exist on their own. In 2017, the CIA will release thousands of classified files relating to JFK's death. Perhaps they contain the original letter and will shed more light onto who was behind the assassination. Until then, debate will continue to rage about exactly what happened on that fateful day in Dallas in November 1963.